Welcome back to the Triple Soul Link, uh, Victory Road, slash EV grinding. Uh, let's uh, figure out where this boss fight is, maybe. So, uh, this floor that I'm currently on does not have strength boulders or rock smash boulders. So those maybe are not needed at all, which would be nice. I'm further than you are, and I have not run into either. Great. And there's another Nurse Joy, too, down the line, so. Okay. But I will uh, recklessly plow ahead, irrespective of peril. Uh, and if uh, right. any fans, if you have a favorite steel book that you've collected, drop it in the chat. I was just going to say, uh, welcome to our soul link, where the rules are made up and the deaths don't matter. Excellent. For now. <laughs> yeah. For this stage, until the next fight. I mean, anything that isn't a boss fight has become the case. Oh, yeah. You think there's an age cutoff for people who'd get that reference? Uh, no, because it's been brought back as a meme, mostly okay. on advice animals. But I mean, I have seen it. That out doesn't there. mean no. you're gonna earthquake me. Can I just dodge that? Yes. Is it worth it? Probably. And it's also been rezzed multiple times. One time with Aisha Tyler. Okay, guys. Aisha. I'm... Aisha. Aisha. I always say it, Aisha. Oh shit, Fry. Fry's got requests. Um, let's see, what's a good one off the top of my head? Do I have I'm, a relevant one? I'm staring Marty in the back of the head, by the way, guys. Oh, you can start the fight if you want to. Uh, oh, I had one. Though. Or I try to try to dodge her if actually. you can, I guess. Where I was just okay. really tired in a in a quick trip, and I dropped the thing I was about to purchase on the ground. I'm like, it's like I often I, candy just tastes better. When it's been in a or a vending machine, <laughs> it's like I often drop my candy bars on the ground so they achieve the maximum flavor potential. <laughs> it's like I want to, I want to build a candy or a vending machine that just sells candy or vending machines. It have to be real fucking big. <laughs> Is that like seriously a potential energy joke? No, that's a uh, Mitch Hedberg joke. Fry uh, reading yes. points. But I think he was making a potential energy joke with it being uh, falling from a high point. I not really. Yeah. I just think it is. Stuff has some thought behind it, but I don't think he was going that deep. You said potential, so that made me think that. I mean, yeah, he says reach its maximum flavor potential is how he says it. Yeah, I believe. I, I'll if definitely. it was a potential energy joke, I I think that would make it like yes. super funny. Potential flavor energy. <laughs> All right, um, this is absurd. I, I'm either going to beat her with the way I was thinking about doing hey, it. Now. Oh, well, not like that, Eric. <laughs> or this is going to go way, way bad. OK, the, the closer to exact quote by the looks of it is I like men. I like vending machines. Cause snacks are better when they fall. If I buy a candy bar at a store, oftentimes I will drop it so that it achieves its maximum flavor potential. <laughs> they have hydrated by your command. Oh my god, stop being fucking paralyzed, my dude. What is this, like Serene Grace Tauros? What the fuck? There we go. Okay, I gotta level my dudes up the rest of the way to 67. Okay, uh, do I want to go by the old man? Do you remember an old man? Um, you don't have to walk down his way, no. I don't know, there might be a TM or something down there. Yeah, fuck him. And suck him. They're on fire, baby. Suck down the chocolate balls. Put them in your mouth and suck them. Oh, damn, did I... Uh, no, yeah, did I mention that was one of the songs that uh, Dude with Kane at the Jackson County Karaoke Contest was contemplating doing instead of Friend Like Me by Robin Williams? Uh, no. 
Yeah, after I did Fuck Her Gently, he said, man, should I do ch or Chocolate Salty Balls? I'm like, man, my song didn't go over well, so I don't like your odds. <laughs> <laughs> did you do the double right. battle, Joe? Yes, okay. I did a double battle. Like two ace trainers or whatever? Yes. Two green-haired motherfuckers? Okay. Fry says in the chat, <laughs> Suck on my chocolate salty balls. They're big and salty and brown. Uh, just yesterday, uh, on that DJing thing, uh, Brad played something off of that album. Did you have the Chef Aid album, Garrett? I did not. I know it has some great covers oh. on it, though. It does. It has, uh, this song was specifically a Primus one. It was really good. There's a Ween like song on there. I'd never heard Ween before that, and that kind of was what made me like him. I've never been able to get into Ween, and they showed up on, on like Chef Aid, and they showed up on Crank Yankers and other stuff, and just, they never clicked with me. The thing about Ween is, you don't have to get into them, because, like, almost every one of their songs sounds different. Well, but that's, I mean, but I've never enjoyed any of their songs, so oh, I don't find okay. that out. I, when I say get into them, I mean, I just never really have enjoyed their music, so I never looked further into it, didn't realize they were that diverse with their genres or they got a following their... like grateful dead you know it's another mm. band i i don't really enjoy but... or uh, fish is another one the stoner jam band yeah okay so i'm just i'm putting things off at this point i've just i've got to get in here and do this yeah see that see i i prefer my stoner bands to utterly deny their stoner heritage and just be mostly metal and rock and roll and just be sex drugs and rock and roll like queens of stone age I, I was gonna say do they deny their stoner heritage yes because joshua hame acknowledges that his original band caius is very much so a stoner rock band but mm -hmm. he explicitly wanted to move away from that labeling and get more and expand beyond just being that from that early 90s stoner rock, desert rock stuff and so when people when he would just be lumped back into being stoner rock he like always refutes it because like uh just, er, er, fry says to check your chat more joe um davy and jesse on my stream are extremely quiet okay thank you fry uh that is because once again see what happens is my uh audio output capture is always like I'll plug it in, I'll start OBS again, and it won't pick back up that I had my uh, output device as my speakers on my headset. It just doesn't remember it for some reason. It should be good now. Thank you, though, Fry. Fry is like my, like, dedicated notices when my audio is fucked up guy. That's his job. Yep. That's, what, that's what we don't pay him for. Yep, Fry has been our, our QR guy for a while. Okay. Uh, one thunder. I've got a this is going to be an electric move. All of these. Are you in the fight now, too? No, I'm doing that double battle. Oh, God. I still like to try and not have deaths on these fights, so I'd never try to just steamroll them. Oh, I thought you were talking about the uh, the later old man. I, I got to make sure none of these fucking PPs changed. Um, there are two old men in the cave. Just you don't have to fight either of them. Okay. Yeah, I'm doing like the Whiskash, Umbreon, Ambipom fight. Does that sound familiar? Yes. Okay. Five. Thunder is 10 PP. Uh, all the rest should be. Yeah, you know. Psychic is more. Hydro Pump. Should have expected you know that. This. Why? Why am I not? Is five. Holy shit. Okay, that's kind of cool. I can see maybe not the all of them, but I can see all the way back to oh, about a year ago, yeah, actually, of Fry's comments on streams. Interesting. Oh no, don't don't friendly fire Dragonite, you bastard. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, so he went for Thunder again. 
which we expected he would. He should go for Hydro Pump now, but it doesn't matter what he goes for uh, against Mole Man, because I resist everything with Jawbreaker. Twitch he did go for a Hydro Pump. Jesus. Okay. It did an okay, not a lot amount. Oh shit, I could have done a Protect there, and I didn't. I need to remember to use those. Well, I do only have 10, so I would have run out eventually anyway. So I'm gonna Protect here. Another Thunder. Yeah, that gives me a lot better with the recovery. Get a free round of it. Okay, so he should go Hydro. Or he should go Thunder again. Okay, thunder again. Now I can protect. Get a hydro pump. Fucking bike puzzles. <laughs> and stop. Oh, that's a dead end. Wait, what? Alright, I'm gonna go for another hydro pump. Probably, hopefully. Another it's like, hey, hey Fry, send a message in chat. We need to test something. Oh no, it just pops up in chat. Never mind. There we go. I don't know. Yeah, there thunder. it is. Okay, cool. I'm not allowed to. Fry no. is now actually a moderator, which should have been the case a long time ago. Why do I have to do a trick to get out of here? Why am I fucking stuck now? What the fuck? <laughs> Goddamn fucking game. Thunder. So that was an entirely optional double battle that just ended in a dead end. Am I blind? Oh, uh, yeah. I I may have mentioned that and completely forgot about it. Alright, he should go for another Hydro Pump here, and that should be the last of the Hydro Pumps, actually, so... Okay, okay. I guess I just don't know where I am. So the now, just to be... I, I don't do PP burning strategies usually ever. PP burning, I like that. Um, I imagine they, the experiencer doesn't. If they miss, or if they hit a Protect or something, that still uses up their PP, right? Yes. They don't get it back, okay. Alright, so I protect. Uses a thunder. Just gonna use another thunder. Okay. Bye. Protect. Ah, he's using Blizzard now. Cool. For that. He's gonna use Blizzard again, and it's gonna do even less damage against me. Oh, no, he switched to Psychic. I guess it doesn't matter what he uses between Blizzard and Psychic. Because he's going for thunder. Alright, well, hopefully this is the right way. I have no fucking idea. A much, A mod champ! A whole ass mod champ! Oh my god! Okay, so this should be his last thunder. Don't earthquake me, you fucker! Okay, I did not miscalculate, thankfully. I will do a protect just to make sure when I switch in. Why did that one do so yeah. much less? Was the first a crit and I just missed it? What the fuck? So back. Yeah, we'll do one protect just to make sure. Okay, he's doing blizzard. Absolutely pitiful damage. Chill, Polyrath, chill! just to make sure he's done with the thunders he's done with the thunders now I can start doing my shit alright we agility oh yeah that kills me I'm, I'm a fucking dragon type whoopsies <laughs> Jesse's trying to play through this without getting any deaths like I'm not 
sitting and looking up every fight and move sets, and I'm just trying not to, like I'm switching when something's almost dead and shit like that. Um, now, according to what you just said, that was a dragon. You didn't want that in there. You should have known. Whoa, God! Holy shit! <laughs> Oh, he's got quick attack. What the fuck, bro? Oh. And he dies to burn. Well, that's a way uh, to control XP, I guess. Oh my god. Half the team is dead. Where's this fucking healer? Okay, take it slow. What? Nurse. No, I, I raided JMU's. I no, dear God, no! I would have lost my goddamn mind if J Muse raided me. <laughs> I raided him though, and he did acknowledge it. That was nice of him. Huh? Unfortunately, it was after I had switched to Bam the Fisherman, so I didn't get to see how he would have reacted uh, if I was still silent, Bam. Okay, now uh, these returns should. I'm plus six. I hope I didn't EV train the wrong stat. <laughs> I don't think I did. Another return. One shot, okay. Where the I'm fuck am I in this shit fuck cave? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he had fu Oh yeah, Arcanine does fucking intimidate. That's so I, I reached the surf area. <laughs> Do you, did you... Good. Did you go up the waterfall, Joe, or did you not go up the waterfall? Um, I don't remember. I went up some waterfalls. Okay. If you went up waterfalls in the cave, then you must be there. And then that brings me back here. So if I. Uh, but another one of our buddies, uh, who goes by Astro Mortis now, but also AKA Scum Shop or Brady, how I been how I want to spin it. Uh, he has played uh, games on stream with Muse. Because Muse, you know, for as much as he's relevant to our lives, isn't that big on Twitch, and he streams a lot. Like he, you know, still. I think he barely gets out of the into the triple digits for viewers. So yeah, um, Brady back in the day when he was streaming a lot, got uh, managed to build a, or get friended by him and play some game, some FPS. I don't know if it was Fortnite or something like that. Uh, Jesse. Um, yes. So intimidate is it just it drops your attack one stage. No one stage. Much. Yep. It is, it is, yeah, one stage of attack drop, which means if you're minus six, it won't do anything. Well, I'm plus five right now. Then. Yeah, so then you're plus four. Okay. Well, no, I, I was plus six. Okay, yes. I just, I need to see if uh, I can pull this off and not have to fucking... All right. Our or if my... I can take the fucking uh, A close combat from him I'll, with from full health. I'm about Cryo to find out. Bombing into my chat with uh, with pictographs. All right. So let's go as Water World for movies. I guess for us it'd be uh, Down Moonspeak. Sorry, I, if Cryo's there. Sorry, I missed your messages early, Cryo. Uh, shit happens. I mean, he's he's literally just sent me kanji, so I don't know what he's actually said. I do not have time to copy and paste that in Google Translate. Okay, according to this, it should fucking work, but I don't know if I trust it. Of okay, course, Fry knows, uh, knows how to read kanji. Septile. Oh shit, Fry! Super relevant to us. Actually, I'm so glad you're here, buddy. Uh, I just realized in the last like month or so that I had apparently. I don't know if MC Chris cycled his stuff, but I realized I wasn't following him on Facebook anymore and refollowed him. And even though he had done his apparent supposed last retirement tour or whatever a couple years back, he is going to be in the Wisconsin Dells next year. 
at what used to be Daishokan. Uh, so, suffice to say, I'm going to Colossal Con, I think it's called now, but I'm fucking going. I I thought I would never, I thought there was a chance I didn't get to see MC Chris in concert ever, and now, now I'm going to do it. And it's next year, not this year, because it's in November, so that means I can continue growing my hair back out, and I can be a full really? Silent Bob You're mode next year for it. <laughs> oh man, I'm, I'm kind of excited when I see he's doing that. Would you say that you're growing out your hair like it was when I was single? I don't understand that reference. That's a Desaparecido song. Um, that's cool though. That you're going to MC Chris. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm gonna go to. I haven't been to a nerd con in a long. Not a decade, but a long time. Same. Well, okay, we're all going to see MC Chris now, Eric, so get your shit together. You have until next November, plenty of time to plan. Oh my Eric, god, you fuck I mean, off. Eric, you can tell Garrett to go fuck himself. I do it all the time. It's true. I no. tell him that all the time. And, and I keep me. inviting him. <laughs> That's next god, god forbid I want my friends to be social. <laughs> and enjoy uh, the things in life. Seriously? Yes, I very much enjoyed my recent outing with you. To the I am glad. Yes, and I'm glad you make it there, and we get to see you at barn stuff. I'm glad oh, yeah, to get all awesome out for that. that. Okay, uh, Japanese went to Japan. You learned Japanese. Congratulations, JB2 is back. Yes, Thursday. Uh, what will happen to Paleo Planet RimWorld? They'll be deprioritized in the upload schedule. RimWorld's already down to one episode a week, and that'll stay the same. We'll drop Paleo Pines to two. Um, it'll be. We'll do JW2 episodes Monday, Wednesday, Friday. There we go. There's the schedule. I am going to give Empoleon and Doug Trio just alternate, alternating BJs. Just like my head one to the other and one to the other. <laughs> Why do you have Earthquake? There's a better way to phrase that, Joe, and that is drop to, line them up, drop to your knees, and make like a circus seal. Exactly. <laughs> I like that. Oh, I don't even have a fucking escape rope anymore. Oh, oh, that was so descriptive. That was like almost like one of those things where they're like, the way that rednecks describe things is fucking incredibly literary. It's, you know. I mean, I can't take credit for it. It's literally a quote from Clerks. Um, but I, I beat Marley. The strat worked perfectly. Nice. It sounds like Jesse's either hasn't found her and is struggling on something else, or she's kicking his ass. No, I, I don't even know where the fuck I'm going, and I have half my team dead, and I need to get out of this fucking cave. I don't have an escape rope. Oh, she joins you right away after that. Oh, okay. Uh, you, have dig, because you don't really need detect, and protect is gonna be better. Dig me out of this fucking yeah. cave, you carcass. Get me out of here. Yeah, we have a Friday the 13th. This is true. Oh, something else that's relevant for uh, the people here. Um, the com I got to hear the commercial today, and I c I'll show it to you guys sometime anyway, but mm -hmm. it is... Uh, the production put so many such a reverb and effects on it like you can't tell that it's my owl card slash perfect cell voice at all really mm -hmm. oh you're not talking i thought you were talking about the one you were telling me about at the party where the guy called it in did uh your co-worker ever fix that so it didn't it, sound it, like shit it, it wasn't when i listened to it on air the uh, uh today or yeah it must have been yesterday it it sounds atrocious but it's like not not my problem that's 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 oh. what we call polishing a turd <laughs> yeah i i don't Ouch. know what don't know what the plan is there but i again i Speaking am of, very what's up turds uh, finish your thought yeah no no just turds i hear turds here it gets really call, excited call of duty has a alucard helsing tie-in skin yeah, I remember seeing that. But if it's not Takahata doing the voice lines, I don't care. Okay, so I could have oh, ran back there to lines, heal. It's just the weirdest fucking thing. Not really. I mean, they've got a, they have 
Ash, they have Alucard, they have... They've done this stuff... Hell, I want to say in one of their old zombie modes, Kevin Smith was a playable character, but not in this current iteration, like one from a couple, a few years ago. You could be Kevin Smith running through the zombie mode. And, uh... Okay. Yeah. No, the and that one at least makes a little sense, but not much. Now, Ash and Alucard make complete sense to me, because they're known for wielding boomsticks and guns and things like that. Come and, on! Uh, Paris, The one that fucking completely please. throws me, though, is I heard there's a Nicki Minaj. And that... Now we're pushing things. That is not the hip-hop artist I associate with gun use. Now, if we had some Tupac and Biggie skins, we're talking. Um... Speaking of polishing a turd, not to, you know, drag us back to turd talk, but uh, did you know that Mythbusters actually, they polished a turd because of that? I did not. They did. Did it just turn corporate? No, they ended up getting it pretty shiny. And they, <laughs> they had to dry it up somewhat and everything. At that point, it's basically corporate, though. I have not seen a single Halloween decoration cryo. Not one. Nowhere. Everybody's too busy not... stealing my fucking mail to put up Halloween decorations. One of the main what, drags what in town going? here, um, like the closest highway to me, they have like a, one of those fucking 15 foot skeletons and I am in love. Nice. <laughs> uh, what, what mail have you got stolen? I wasn't here for this. Uh, somebody stole my 30th anniversary Jurassic Park captive's egg. The one with like the build the little visitor center model. <laughs> Uh, what is it? I am not familiar with this merch. Uh, it it's so you remember those eggs with the random little dinosaur figures in the oh, cards, yep. right? Yep. So they have a super deluxe one of those that comes with a T Rex, two Raptors, the full size cards uh, for all three, so two different variations on the Raptor card, um, and then it comes with like a little fairly simplistic build your own visitor center model to go with the the Raptors and the Rex. Oh, okay. It's kind of cheap, but I want the cards, so I spent thirty dollars on it, <laughs> and then it got stolen. But oh. I got Amazon already refunded it, so fuck it. You gonna order another one? Uh, eventually, if I don't find one at Walmart or I come to trust the uh, Amazon Hub thing, I had a Hammer Collection figure come today, and that was properly deposited in the Amazon Hub. So that's a good sign that the mail carriers understand how that works. Because I didn't, so... Hmm. Um... I should throw a dark pulse on here. I think I have it. No, I thought we had a dark pulse TM. I guess not. I no, thought we did too. That sounds familiar. I'll have to maybe check my my list. Yeah, I'll check in a sec. If we do, I may have missed it too. Very likely. And then I don't know where to even look for it. Let's see if we can learn Shadow Ball. Yeah. Number 79, Dark Pulse. Yeah, let's just see if I maybe fucking went past now it twice the up. other direction. Now you fucked up. I done fucked up. Did guys. you find yeah, any good items it. in Victory Road, Joe? You do. Do you think Giga Impact is good? <laughs> it's no. niche. Um, I found a Razor Claw. I think. Do you okay. need one of those? I don't know. Otherwise, I skipped every trainer I could, so yeah. I probably did miss things. I'm fighting a bunch of fucking psychics right now in this water area. I'm about to... to fight a psychic, and that's why I wanted the Shadow Ball. Figure out where the fuck I'm going. Let's see if, uh... We have Shadow Claw, too, don't we? Yeah, let's see if maybe, uh, my inappropriately physically trained penguin can All learn right, it. Bye, Cryo. My inappropriately physically trained penguin can learn it.
Have work or high school tomorrow? Well, which fucking one? Are Just you saying you're thinking cool. about ditching, Cryo? <laughs> Why do you have ice cream? No, I fucking clicked too fucking fast in this fucking fast clicky I... fuck game. You fuck. Why do they have a what, Jesse? Ice beam. Oh, okay. That was the weirdest pronunciation of ice of beam. I yeah, I was why. dramatically shaking while I said ice beam. Okay, he's gonna ice beam me. I can go to you, and then I'm gonna get murdered. I can go to you. Ah, oh, fuck, I have nothing for ice. Ice, baby? Alright, uh, stall him out. He got leech seated at least, so that's something. Motherfucker. Don't you dare freeze me, though. I'll be very cross. Oh, with he's you. normal, too. Yeah, that was great. He fucking just had Thunderbolt out of nowhere. Oh my god. Tentacruel completely walls a fucking Kingdra. Jesus Christ. Alright. Flare Blitz, eat shit. Yay. Oh, wow. Oh, fuck. He survived with one HP and then psychic me to death. Fucking giraffes, man. <sighs> I'm kind of looking right, uh, forward to, if we do the Heart Gold Soul Silver hack where we just upstat everything to their evolutions. Being a giraffe rig running around with Burgraff's stats would be kind of fun. I don't know how much the increase is, but... Where in, it's something. Where in our plans was that one? I don't even remember. Asterisk, maybe, somewhere. Oh. <laughs> I don't even remember. I mean, I remember discussing various different ideas moving forward, but I did not remember going why's, back why's to Why's he got a so fucking Salamence? I thought Heart Gold So Silver is what we were, was the idea on the docket for... The, the split hacks. Mod. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. The first but mod hacks. That's been in development for... A long time though yep. my alternative take would be i just make a a simpler hack based on just gen 1 gen 2 mons and buffing up the gen 2 mons to not be dog water which would also be interesting he did psychic move yep. do we think dragonite outspeeds but he doesn't have a fucking dragon move um uh, we just go to you fuck it you're gonna kill him it's gonna be fine yeah, see, you always say dog water in a negative term, but dogs actually like water, so... You're right. I, I, I think I me. know where he's um, coming from with the dog water thing, though. I get it. Why, why did he get the 10% fucking paralysis? Come on. I just want to get through these stupid fucking trainer fights and figure out where the hell this boss is. <sighs> now I'm just going to wipe to this fucking Salamence for some dumb reason. Did you fight a Salamence, yeah, Joe? Uh, did fight a Salamence. Oh, okay. you're up against Dragon Trainer Orlov or whatever his name is. Uh, I thought this was a psychic, but I wasn't paying much attention. Shocking. He, he had a cape. You have literally nothing that can hit a flying type. Fantastic. This is a thousand percent a dragon move. He might be the last trainer you have to fight before you get to Marley. That's Actually, no, that's a lie. You? you have a. Uh, a surfing area next that you have to go through. And there's two trainers that are mandatory there, I believe. Oh, two items here. Full restore. It is nice having the heals from Marley. Oh shit, but I didn't have a dragon move on this. I'm just fucked. Thunderwave, hope for para. Nice. You fucked, idiot. Ooh, Parasect. It is not gonna like this flamethrower very much. Ooh, triple paras! Get fucking wrecked! Wagsire. This cut on Doug Trio gonna be enough. Okay, oh yeah, you're right. Like this has to... Is that guy named... Andre, Andrej in base game, or is that a reference to somebody? Dragon Tamer? Yeah. I think it is Andrej in the base game. Hmm. I don't know why I thought Orlov. 
Oh my god, Dragonite took an Ice Beam from an Altaria. Altaria is pretty goddamn bad, huh? Uh, offensively? Yes. Ooh, Miss Hurricane from Charizard! Oh my god! I'm having all the luck in a place where it doesn't even fucking matter, but... Um, Which means you're gonna get hosed on Marley. Does Hurricane hit me if I'm in the air on fly? It would... I, I could see it being one of those moves, yeah. Yeah, so could I. Brave Bird, eat shit. Wait, I guess it's quicker to look it up than to just get fucked over by it. Infernape? I bet I know what he's gonna like. Yeah, How works. about a Brave Bird, eat shit? Can't do too many more of those. Cause but is he gonna click it? Breloom. Oh, oh that would bitch. Be a really good opportunity to do a Brave Bird and tell him to eat shit, but. Okay. I'm gonna start him on fire instead. Where is this uh, healer lady? Oh, there she is, a link fucking Christ. Heal me, bitch. Thank you, bitch. Okay, uh, walk past the old man, go this way, maybe, maybe this way, that's a cave, that's promising, maybe. I found a zinc. <laughs> Victory Road. Okay, this looks like it's going. Oh, there she is, there's the goth lady, okay. Uh, Dale, 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 do we have a lumberry for you? Is there not a single lumberry in this fucking bag? Oh my god. Were you by the fire this weekend when I kept going, Zink? Yes, because oh, you... Okay. We were I'm glad I got an opportunity to do it again just now. Yep. Because, <laughs> yeah, we were talking about that. I was trying to melt his coin, yeah. Yep. Okay, so she's going to click Blizzard. Explain, like, the whole, whole slew of reference to somebody. I don't remember who... Because it was somebody that, like, has even more centricism on old. Oh, like, season uh, three, it was it only was, season four down. It was your coworker's brother. We were talking about The Simpsons. Ah. Uh, he had a, a good oh, yeah. amount of knowledge, but it was only up to like season four. Yeah. I, I don't. Did I calc this? I feel like. I mean, I calc to this, but I, I, I start to feel like my strategy can't be real. Faith <laughs> Bird is so fucking good. Alright, Salamence, eh. Okay, move I remember the calc. Here. I'm dead to thumb crit rolls. If I decalced it right. So I want to bury so that I don't get frozen. Because I'm more likely to lose to a freeze than I am to some crit rolls. Because freeze is like 30% on Blizzard. Right? I think that was the strat. I think that was the plan. Okay, Um. so Dale is the lead, and then we set up and sweep with Fafnir. Oh, what? When the Crobat um, comes in. I have a Pokerus. Nice. Oh, nice. Where the fuck did I catch that? Who caught that to begin with? Son of a bitch. Well, Garrett, well, you need to wrap it when you yeah. go out there and spend time with your Pokemon. Yeah, I was going to say, did you uh, get a little too close to a drinking fountain? Yeah, apparently. I mean, I did share a bottle of Boonsarm with a bunch of friends this weekend. You know what? I, I have been worried about that for like <laughs> two days, but I haven't been getting sick, so... No, I... I don't generally put my mouth on things other people put their mouth on. Just, like, it grosses me out in general, but I also, yep. like, don't want to get sick, so... Yeah? No, I, I completely get that, and had I not been drunk, I I usually don't think to do that. But then, I think, like, my initial thought is, we'll just grab some cups from the, the bar and distribute it amongst some people. But then it's like, we're already drunk, and it's like, here we go, we're passing the Boone's Farm. Oh, shit. Yep, I didn't even think about it. Nope. coverage do I put on my boy maybe? Is, it, is it weird? I think I've been reading too much manga lately. I was thinking about we all we all shared indirect kisses, Joe. 
Oh, well, I mean, I'd be up we, for, for direct, too, that's fine. I mean, me and you have kissed, so, I mean, it's not that big of a stretch. I've, I've fucking made out with everybody, Garrett. I know, I, I still pray that there's a, a future in which I get to give my speech at your wedding. Of <laughs> every, everyone who's made out with Joe, stand up. Now all the women sit down. <laughs> <laughs> That'd probably be about a half and half a room there, you know? <laughs> Pretty, you know, I mean, that's, that's, yeah, the whole bit is the shock, the staggering amount of dudes who are still standing up. What can I say? Bit of a you, party you, animal in you, my you, day. You, you've never been the one to shy away from sexuality of any sort. Never I see them. sexuality mm. as comedy, though. That's that's well, different. part of it, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't really get arouse a lot of me. It's, oh my god, I ran into a fucking shiny gold bat in a double battle. That's not good. I wasn't implying arousal. I'm saying like sh like you're never gonna. Okay, you've never been homophobic or heterophobic or oh, anyophobics. Oh, that's I what I think I, I should put I out there. I didn't make a safe state at the oh. right time. No, I, I, I was uh, inherited homophobic when I was younger just because I grew up in a small town and that's what disgusting shit was taught to me. Right, uh, but you were, by the time I had met you, you were already beyond that. Like, that's <laughs> you were a already little... gay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, again, he tries to, so hard to be straight dot JPEG. <laughs> Woof, uh, I'm pretty sure I fucked my Kalka up. Uh-oh. But I didn't get crit, so it didn't matter. Um, I was at 73 from 190? 190 that to fucking... 73 is like 120 damage. Crit would have been fucking 240. Bitch knocked out my shiny gold bat. Yeah, I didn't- oh. I didn't- I missed the expert belt in the calc, or I missed like, the um... Missed something, but it worked. Are you in the Marley fight right yeah, now? Yeah, yeah. Oh, so oh. you had a death, Joe? I didn't have a death. No, I got the clean. Oh, I thought you said bitch knocked out your shiny gold bat. No, no, bitch knocked out the shiny gold bat that I was I randomly ran into. Oh and... no, I fucked up! I forgot to set poison on Dragonite. Oh boy. I'm willing to call that a mulligan. Because that's that's a part of I, your strength. I also forgot to make a save state. <laughs> Great. I'm willing to let you wipe and call it a mulligan. And have you walk back? <laughs> okay. Plan B. Plan B. Plan B. We just gotta stall this out of Brave Bird. <laughs> Is that a tenor or a fiver? Uh, uh, I think that's a tenor. Brave Bird, I'll tell you right now. I have it on my fucking chicken. Uh, it's a 15er. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, have fun with that. Actually, do I have the PP for this, theoretically? I mean, maybe if we get you some blue chew. Ten slack off. Oh, See? Fuck. Sexuality is comedy. <laughs> yeah, I know. Right there with you. Remember, I was raised on Mel Brooks and uh, Kevin Smith. Yeah. My bread and butter is dick and fart jokes. I could have skipped Ah, uh, man. I, I should decide if I'm going to try and mulligan this right now. If I'm going to do it. 169 defense. 277 HP. I knew I was going to fucking forget that. Because I never do pre-poison shit unless it's guts. And then, then I think about it. Yeah, dude. Mul mulligan it. I'm, I'm wanting to see the mulligan here. But I also don't want to have to go find... <laughs> Do we ever do we ever find oh I no black sludge doesn't work we never found a do we ever find a toxic orb? Oh, I can't surf when I have a partner with me. Um, I don't think I found a toxic orb, but I that might be something you can buy from the game corner. Okay. Let me. Oh oh I got a toxic orb, so. You might uh, have... fuck it. Give it a oh shot. Oh my god. So much damage. Uh, uh, 
Also, oh god, that's still well, like a ton of damage with fucking. <laughs> that's a ton of damage with fucking Marvel Scale, actually. Alright. Was Marvel Scale 2? Did my strategy never really work or something? Maybe I needed that fucking golem. 50% defense. I wouldn't be shocked if that was part of your thing, because, like, you would const or, uh, subsequently come up with, like, get an exciting new little strategy type thing every time we swap somebody out in that final slot. Yeah, the, so, so the original strategy was strictly go from Parasect to Dragonite. And then when we brought in Golem, I was like, okay, now it's perfect because I can go to Golem first and wear out the Brave Birds, and then go to Dragonite on cross poisons and not care. Oh, Jesus. What the but hell? uh, wow, that was really stupid of me. I had a, bla a Blaziken out, and I'm up against a Fortress, and I'm like, oh, I'll do Superpower instead of you know a Fire move. All right, um. I guess they committed to this, doing this. If you say so, man. Six <laughs> HP, bud! Oh boy! Oh boy! Can okay. you get him the fuck out of there now? <laughs> nope, roost! Unless... Roost time! Unless... Oh, oh, nice, yes! Poison me! No. Is cross poison toxic? If it's toxic damage, I'm like fucking fucked. I don't know if cross poison can even poison you. Actually, hold on. It, it's it's. I don't think it's toxic. I think that's poison fang. Ten percent chance of poison and increased crit ratio is also kind of bad. Actually, actually, I never really factored that into anything. But actually, actually. Okay. Okay. I, I think saw... we're good. I think we're out of the woods on that cross poison, except for the fact that he's like constantly cross poisoning. But I got the para, so I should be fine. Okay, there's a brave bird. I yeah, saw Neil deGrasse Tyson pop up on Facebook for the longest time the other day. Actually, I was, and, I was dead know, to crit pair. He's, he's fully aware that, like, the meme is that he's the actually guy. And he, he fully leans into it. But I don't think he would have acted any differently if he didn't know it. Okay, I'm actually fucking dead to some brave bird crit rolls here without marvel scale so i actually really needed to leave this fight and get poisoned um you need I have to mulligan this committed right a now. tactical error okay he roosts we get the dance again and if you do mulligan this right now before anything dies it's more legit Okay, am I good? Is two dragon dances enough to sweep? No. I don't think so. Uh, Wait, there's an moves? intimidator on his team, right? On her team? Yeah. Yes, the Arcanine is going to intimidate you. Okay, we just need one more para. Nice. Dance. Oh, excellent. Got it, dance. Misses a hypnosis. Oh yeah, hypnosis was also a fucking like lose condition. Okay, now I'm three. This Dragonite is max attack, max speed, essentially. I'm actually getting completely fucked by my minus defense nature here too, or else this would be uh, safer. Uh, if not max, Dragon Dance is one stage. No, no, no. I mean, his his EVs are max. Sorry, yeah, I, I didn't didn't oh, didn't, it, didn't specify it, what I was saying. Yeah, he's plus three, plus three with max EVs in both attack and speed. The plus three is like what one point five times your base additional, right? I said that two point five times, right? Yeah. Is so, he fast normally or no? One sixty six base speed on this guy. Two forty one base attack. I have a I have a hundred and fifty base power move in the in the form of fly. I think you have it with fly, and there's nobody who can like take you out of the air. Bullshit. Yeah, I gotta boost my uh, speed because I'm way behind everybody else. And... Yeah. So yeah, nobody can like snipe me out of the air. 
Fly is not resisted by anything. Sceptile eats shit. It doesn't matter if it endures because I'm th really fast now. I, I think three was what I needed for speed to actually outspeed Sceptile. I think I calced that. Base 161 speed, and then it doubles to 322. And I'm at 166, but I'm, yeah, 2.5 times 166, so I outspeed. Yeah, I think we just have to go for the kill now because we'd be, we run the risk of wiping if we, if it does yeah. crit Brave Bird and high rolls, we die. Do it, I believe in you. I believe you can fly. Right. I would have, oh, I would have. so much, Eric. That I, is perfect. I would have absolutely reset if I had the checkpoint proper, but it's just because I didn't have the checkpoint that I didn't want to fucking do this. <laughs> All right, you just fucking die. Because you're a bitch, baby. The way that Lesnar says that is more ridiculous than I even remembered it. You yes. die because you're a fucking grass type. It is so good. All right, well, we're not going to wipe now. Even if good. something bad happens, we lose the dragon. We don't wipe. Like, if this uh, explodes. But I think this won't. It sets light screen. Okay. Bad, but yeah, not really. Not, yeah, you're not doing anything light screenable. Anyway. Oh, yeah. Also, this doesn't bait Arcanine until now. Um, okay. A one stage down. I think you're good with another fly. Yeah, the Arcanine doesn't... It's going to close combat me. It can extreme speed me. Like, this doesn't have anything particularly great for me. Yep. So even if it doesn't die here, I think I live. It just still dies at plus two. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Sweep. Excellent. Okay. Well, strategy worked. I just did it in the most scuffed way possible, risking like five crits that would wipe me. So, but content. That was crit risks. So that was excellent content. I'm glad you didn't listen to me. Oh, I'm up. Uh, Dawn. I'm looking her in the back of the head right now. So it looks like you gotta fight her before you move any further. Okay, you're outside or whatever, and that's where she is? Yeah. Got it. Outside and then up, and then, yeah. I mean, it's going to be a return to the Pokemon Center thing, regardless. Ah, fuck, I ran into a train. Wait, Marley didn't heal you? Oh, yeah, she did a whole bunch, but she's gone now. Oh, okay. Yeah, how many trainers did you have to fight to get outside? Uh, there were a decent amount, like five. Okay. Well, no, there were more than that. This trainer wants to be a problem anyway. Right. Let's do this then. Oh, wow. It's not mm. taking, like, any damage from shit. Okay, so now you guys have to start uh, putting together the fight for Dawn then? Yeah. Yep, that'll be the thing to work on. Although with the Brock Lesnar one, the the let's do this ain't bad, but my favorite edit is still the Taylor Swift one. Oh. The trouble one. That's of the couple of songs by that lady that I know. I am okay with that one simply because of the Brock Lesnar edit. <laughs> Oh my god, he retreats. He wants yeah, to burn my face off. No, I'm probably not faster than Duck Trio. I might be. We'll find out. I'm just gonna die anyway if I'm not. Yeah, you know I'm not. Yeah. Fuck it. Fuck it. Chuck it. Fuck it, football. Yeah. You know what? Sure hope fuck I'm faster. This. Oh god, he's speed boost. Why the fuck did you hug nope, my Nope, he's head? faster. Okay. Well, whatever. Fuck it. I get Why barely any damage. I think all your life you're growing up. You're looking for a butt to fuck. I'm not familiar with that re reference either. Uh, that's a Cory <laughs> line. Oh, okay. That's why. Ouch. Anyway, um, eat my leech life. Not a thing in this game, Jesse. 
Or we say leech life or a lich life? Leech life. Oh, okay. Leech. So there's no liches in this game. Uh, maybe not this one. <laughs> like, like closest thing, maybe Shedinja? Maybe. I was thinking, oh, actually, what about Spear Tomb? It's got like a phylactery, huh? Maybe? Does it? Maybe? Is that what's going on there? Maybe? I've never felt like that's what's going on there. It's like the haunted well thing is what I've always got. Yeah, given the the um, Gen 4 introduction to how you get it, that, that actually tracks. Yeah. It's a haunted, it's, it's, like, stone. It's the odd keystone. That it's the out. ring. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the horror I would attribute Spirit Tomb to before. Gen 4. Yeah, how, how specifically would you even represent a Pokemon as a lich, actually, thinking about it? A skeleton. But that would just be anything well not just a skeleton but i'm saying like that's where you gotta start <laughs> yeah i'm just thinking something that specifically specifically signals lich well i think you start with the base evolution being the phylactery and then it Ooh. evolves into the the hooded cloak skeleton thing going on that could be good oh, fucking son Cube. of a bitch no cubone's in the running a little bit yeah yeah i, I was the... I was going to say, like, Yamas, Kapagrigus a little bit, maybe. Yeah, see, yeah. I would say closer to a Lich is those two so far. But that's the, the not in the game. latched onto a physical <laughs> entity, huh? Not in the game. <laughs> not in this game. But that's a Pokemon. Oh, God, period. it's dry skin. Oh, fuck. We're not limiting it to just strictly uh, oh, this gen. I, I was, specifically. Well, no, that's, that's silly. There's way we more gotta, Pokemon on that. This is not this is Dexit, Jesse. Dragon dancing Altaria getting ready to sweep me. Let's see, what can we do to deal with you? We can't do really anything to deal with you, can Get him, Dale! Parasect been a champ. Endeavor. Number one hero after All Might? Put him to sleep, Dale. I don't even remember what it does. Dale! I Dale! Yes! <laughs> Good job, Dale. Oh, that's terrible for what I just did. What is the criteria, you jerk? Better just be level 60. Okay, yeah, it became Dragon Fairy. Who? Uh, Altaria. Oh. Yeah, right. that fucked up my understanding of its typing. Oh, yeah, and I was gonna go ahead and try to Dragon Pulse it, and that's not gonna work either. Now it's Dragon Dancing again. Oh well, it'll just send me back to the fucking Pokemon Center on the other side, like I needed it to anyway. What the f- oh my god. So where's the exit from this place? It's just the door on the other side of the map, it looks like? Yeah, it must be. It's the only thing it can be. So do you go, what, down the ladder? Or down the stairs after the first double battle? Cross oh, the water? Bullshit. Navigate the maze? Is that what happens here? Is this like a non-linear area? <laughs> stay alive here it's a uh, roguelike oh yeah i did not <laughs> oh my god poison point and he dies wow i can't believe i survived that oh wait i think the route right. is there nope that doesn't Elements. work either i think we we do a sack here but this fucking yeah he's got you... four mon left you're not in the dawn fight are you no i am i accidentally run into a fucking trainer fight just you calling for like a sack mon was concerning. Well, I don't want to fucking have to run all the way back through Victory Road, but I, I think I have to anyway, because that's the only way I can get to a PC. So it, it would probably make more sense for me to actually just do that. Uh, uh, this doesn't make any good. Flying. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's sucker punch you. That yeah, didn't do much. Oh wow, that kills, huh? Okay, little shit. You little oh, he's confused. Fucker. Yay. All right, let's send you back in. Let's dragon pulse now. 
hit yourself. Yes, it hit itself. Okay. Two now. Kingdra's pulling his weight here. Alright, Kingdra versus Kingdra action. Oh, it's the giraffe egg. Alright, got him with the crit. I might actually survive. Oh, he's gonna kill Dragonite! Oh, no, he doesn't. Wow, his special attack is not the best. Okay. I got a Dragonite to fight now. You Barney looking motherfucker. No, he, he, he really. Me, uh, oh, he hits me with an outrage. He's gonna kill me. No, I survived. Oh, that's my fucking focus, Sash. Oh, well. I'll keep it because I don't want to go back. I win the fight, yeah. Got Actually, hurricane. Just flying back anyway. Don't hurricane me, bro! Don't hurricane me, bro! Really? And you crit in the air? Dragon Knight's dead and he's somewhere way far away. He just fell out of the sky like a meteor. <laughs> That's why they call it Meteor Mash. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. How do I beat a Drift <laughs> What the fuck? Why is this a menace? Oh my god, that does no damage. And it's got Thunderbolt? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, Light Screen is up. Fair enough. Um, poison it, though. God damn it, you fucker. Really? Really? Really, my dude? Really? Oh, fuck it. Kill it. Nice crit. Nice poison. Tentacruel. Let's fucking go, dude. All right. Anyway, time for you to leave. Razor Claw, that's why. Okay, I must have just got the Pokerus because now all six of my mons have it. What what does that even do though? Isn't that like a beneficial to EV training thing? Uh, yeah, it gets you faster EV growth. Thank you uh, for the follow, Mysterious Vara Voidwalker. Who could that oh. be? Ooh, ooh, indeed. Pretty sure it's straight up, like, double EV growth. Oh, that's... Now I understand where the, the Vara... Thanks for pointing I'm used to the... Wasn't there used to be an H in the Vara thing? Yeah, okay, that's what threw me off. Thanks for the extra boost, Fry. The item... We'll restore. I actually need it. <laughs> So, we, uh, you ran into a shiny Golbat, Joe. Yeah. My uh, plan for the moon draft lock was to use uh, PK Hex to edit our starting Pokemon to our own custom uh, selections. So we could pick regular or shiny. We get to do... I wrote up a stat distribution scheme to pick where your uh, IVs go. Pick an egg move to add, and then um, pick if you want your hidden ability or regular ability. That's my thought. Cool. So you brought that up because then I could get a shiny gold bat and I wouldn't have to feel as bad. You know, like, I've had only a few shinies in my life, and two of them have been suit bats. Yeah, it's weird how that works. Yeah, just because just of the shiny thing is why I brought it up, so. But we would have to, so what we'd have to do is we, we need to draft our starters ahead of time, and I need, like, nickname and trainer name so that I can play through to starter selection three times to generate the, uh, I could probably just do it. I don't know if you can edit trainer name in PKX. You probably can. But I'll probably want to do it three times just for different trainer IDs and stuff. I don't know. Oh, you can edit all that shit in PK Hex, yeah. Yeah, maybe I'll just look at using the one base save and just changing everything that way. That would be better. Yeah. I already have the save in that case, too. Because I tested this already to make sure it would work. PK Hex throws a bunch of, like, invalid things, but I think that's PK Hex just telling you, hey, if you 
tried to use this in a tournament, you get banned for hacking. <laughs> also... Oh, yeah, it, it doesn't stop you from doing anything. You are using PK hacks, right? I'm using hacks. Okay. Because it's... Well, I don't think you would be need to be doing anything in that one that would require you to do hacks. Yeah, so the way I It'll understand it... warn you about it being invalid. Right. Hex will automatically assume certain things about Pokemon based on base Pokemon stats when you load it in. But if you then change it afterwards, it doesn't matter. So if if, if I gave it something illegal, then if I loaded it back into PK Hex, it might correct that automatically. But nothing I've given it is technically illegal. And at least PK Hex doesn't care about me exporting an illegal thing. So that that's how I understand it. It's a gambler? Yeah, that what sounds is this right fucker? To me. Who are you? That's gonna be a long, annoying trek back, but. Yeah, I, I think the big thing is like if a Pokemon have changed base stats, PKX will like shit that back. Yes. Um and maybe XP sure. curves too. If the XP curves are shifted, it might down level your Pokemon. Oh, I don't know. I've never tried to change those. Yeah, too advanced for my salary. Yeah, I mean, it's just straight up like a randomizer setting if you want to do it really simplistically to make everything like level at the same rate. But some ROM hacks do get so into the weeds that they're like, this guy should level faster or slow. I okay, what the, the fuck is the thing for unlocking? I, uh, I don't get it. I don't understand. I don't like it. Unlocking. The... XP training from the EV lady. Wait, she doesn't have she XP says, training? No, no, she has it, but she won't let me use level 65 blissies. She stops me at 55s. And even though I have mons that are like level 70 plus, including the mon that I'm training in the lead spot of my party being at level 65 or more. That's really weird. Yeah, I have no idea. It's, it might I, be post-game. That would be stupid. I but... thought it was a new tier for every badge. But it's clearly more than that if you're only able to go up to 55. Right. So maybe there's some sort of weird design choice to not make things quote unquote exploitable by like limiting it to like your team average or something weird. That's fucking rich coming from this uh, pack. Oh, yeah, I mean, at the point that you've generated this grinding spot, what is the point of restricting it in any way? Yo. It's it's only wasting time. This is Starfield fucking load screens. That's all this is. <laughs> then my dumbass keeps fighting the level 25 chances. Well, I've done it twice. But I never did it once when I was training up uh, my last mon. But this time, yeah, it's every fucking time now. Oh my God, well, not so every other time. Fucking trainers. Whatever, 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 whatever. Fucking ever. Um, oh yeah, I was looking at Dawn. I'm back at the Pokemon Center now. I'm okay. just gonna stay there while we plan for Dawn. Yep, yeah, I'm uh, trying to finish a victory road to get to the Dawn fight uh, by the end of this episode, which is why we're still running here a little long. Just seems like a natural good break point. And the next time we can have, we'll start when Garrett's ready to do uh, what's her face. Um, oh, I'll do Harley. It. She's a goth chick, of course she would. She's not. Yeah. She doesn't have big titties though. Uh, I mean, neither did the love of my life. But hey, can't always win. It's true. And then we'll. Um, yeah, it shouldn't take Garrett too long to get from Mira to the next boss fight. So if we get like all the EV training for both teams out of the way beforehand, then we should be in a good spot to churn out a double boss fight episode. Don't give me this fiddlesticks, you fucking cock teasing bitch. <laughs> I'm just over here watching Dragonite constantly almost dying. Oh, he got stuck by a fucking hurricane again. There he goes. Look at him blasting off again <laughs> in the distance. Fuck. Oh, <laughs> what the dog doing? 
What the dragon ain't doing? I thought of the one thing I would want on my soundboard. It's already. It's uh, uh, when Morton Joe says mediocre. Might in, be a good one. In Fury Road. I might, I might turn that into my own little, little Pokemon meme in my next edited video by just sticking a mediocre in there every time one of my team members fucking dies. Do it. <laughs> yeah. You heard yeah. the emperor. Hmm. <laughs> Weep, Bone Scarfer. Yes, sweeping through those dragons. Get fucked. My dragon's better than all three of your dragons, dumbass. Uh, you are skippable. Sir, can't be easy to have someone with you. Are you my fucking kidding me? Oh my god. This bitch staying with me, making life more complicated. Unbelievable. Just kill it, or it kills you. Nice job! Hey, ho, bitch fist. Call me Dullerth Balls. Bong! Oh, I'm locked in. Uh, fuck it. That focused, huh? Die, you dumbass wabu fit. Are you doing the them as double battles, or are you fighting them individually? I'm doing them, all individually? doing them individually, yeah. Later, Fry. Thanks for the support, as always. Later, Cry. Bye. Oh, I should have spored. I was faster. Okay, you missed Toxic. Free Spore. Awesome. Get fucked. You dumbass Dusclops. Can't believe you'd be this stupid. Try to Toxic a Parasect. Dumbass. Oh god, rock slide! Oh, it does no damage because he's a dust clops. Never mind. Oh man. Oh, I was thinking about the MC Chris thing. Since he's gonna be at Colossal Con, though, I feel bad now that Fry left that I'm talking about this but again. But I just realized I'm pretty sure he said that he'll be like not just doing a concert, but like he'll actually be having like a booth and doing signings. And I'm trying uh -oh. to think, I was just just the other day because I was like, oh man, oh, that's someone cool. die. I got a bright powder dodge on a fire punch on Parasect. <laughs> so, yeah, he's, not, he's not in the boss fight, so yeah, I'm it's not sure. even important. But it was just one of those moments where, you're like, for it happened again, two bright powder wow. dodges on two fire punches. Time to leave. Parasect has earned this. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty impressive. But uh, Joe specifically. Uh, there is a copy, or just because you'll appreciate this. There's like only MC Chris's, I think, most recent album has any vinyl copies on door, so it's probably going to be a hard one to find anything of, especially of like the stuff that we like from back in the day, like Eating's Not Cheating. Yeah. Um, but there is a copy at Revival of the Jay and Silent Bob reboot soundtrack, which has a couple MC Chris songs on it. My my collecting has been like I don't know I I probably wouldn't go that broad. I'd well, no, very, but I'm, I'm, I'm talking... very specific about the things that I'm buying. No, I know, but I'm talking about uh, getting something for MC Chris to sign ah, in that Colossal Con. I think that's a good idea, right? Or you can have him sign your dick. That'd be cool. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, this works still. Like, I, can't I mean, but that there. won't last. Cause Have you looked on Discogs give... to see what prices are for some of his stuff? <laughs> Not yeah. I think it's one of those things where there's very little of it exists, period. Like, there's only a I few don't think they ever and... printed much. No, like, I don't know if he ever did for his old stuff. It's only the newer stuff, which I still like some of his newer stuff just fine, especially some of it, like, you know, like the Beetle Juice song I showed you and things like that. But yeah, format. Yeah, there are too many here. Yeah, so none of that is a problem here at all whatsoever. 
do remember you have trainers to fight, right, Garrett? So you don't really want to get everybody to 70 right away, right? Hi, remember what I said about level caps? You're just, Fuck you're up. just, okay, fine. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize you yeah. were going to just start at 70 and go from there. Okay, yep. I get you. Speaking of 70, that's about what you're looking to spend if you wanted to get any of his stuff on. Just gogs? Yeah. Because, yeah. yeah, just far too limited of print runs. Again, that's why it'd be easier just to grab a 20, bu 20 buck soundtrack to Jane Sound Bob reboot. Yeah, and he only started doing any vinyl at all with MC Chris is Dead, too. Like, it was yes. all CDs before that. Exactly, like, the, so the albums that I have a lot of nostalgia for and love, because I liked even up to, like, Dungeon Master of Ceremonies and things like that. Well, you Not know, he was festival. big on MP3 distribution, too, being a nerd. Yeah. So. yeah, oh yeah, which is cool and awesome, and I appreciate that, but now the nerds are starting to get into vinyl. I mean, he, I'm right. glad he's kind of catching on to that, too, though. Like, he has been putting vinyls out. Oh, yeah, I've seen a lot of reissues and stuff of, well, like, for my personal interest, a lot of emo bands. But they were always good about releasing on vinyl back in the day, too. Right. It's cassette now. Actually, um, the the same kids who didn't know any better about cassette being a terrible format are now... Uh, uh, CDs are now considered retro. Um, so, right. yeah, yeah, they might print some new ones that'll actually play, but a lot of the ones from the 90s have stopped playing because they degrade on the shelf like a motherfucker. How long did you have to walk before you saw Dawn? After I got out? Yeah. It's not long, but it's, uh, there's a few stupid things. Trainers you have to dodge, uh, surfing you have to do. Okay. Just make your way up the hill. She's up there. Yeah, this is this is two two four here, I assume, right? Yep. Watch out for that dragon trainer. It's a man. What are we? What are we at for time? We're we're at a long episode here. I was thinking of getting to dawn. Oh, you just want to see her. Yeah, but I might not do that. Could also get the encounter here. Actually, maybe that's the better thing to do. There's an encounter there. Yeah, 224, 224 is an encounter. Are you telling me that? Oh, I guess I could go up back and get mine when I do dawn. So but. this person here, where's the? I guess you just surf to the north. Does it just go to the Pokemon League? 224. I don't know. It didn't look like there was any place to surf north. It goes to Seabreak Path. Oh, that's Shaman. Yeah, so it doesn't. So, do we even need to be on two two four? I don't know. Um, you, this is where you saw Dawn, you'd though. To, you'd have to talk to Dawn. Oh yeah, she I, is two two four. Yeah, okay. I don't think she's optional at all. Yeah, so it must be. Um, there must be like an NPC blocking the exit to Victor, or whether you have to like fight Dawn to clear the way or something. That's probably what he did here. That sounds familiar to me in general for Renegade Platinum. Where is the exit? Would that be on one of the surf pools that... Uh, it would be going back into Victory before. Road. And just going to yeah. a different Victory Road exit. Yeah, I didn't know that there were any other exits. Yeah, because this is all post-game normally. This area here? Two, two, yeah, 224 is post-game normally. There's Dawn. I found her. Well, Pokemon Center on the map, or Pokemon League, is to the left of where we are, so I'm guessing that because it blocked you with Marley from surfing, you just surf and then there's another one at the well, northwest or something. That whole area with Marley's also post game. Oh, okay. So the, uh, I, I wouldn't know where the fuck that, well, there were a few, uh, corridors i didn't go down at all because there were trainers on them so. i'm gonna grab my encounter here and then we can end okay uh, there's the rappel <laughs> uh gloom does somebody have a gloom <clears throat> uh your options here are dust ox beautiful eye chat shuckle and zatu uh let me look at i'm pretty sure somebody had a gloom or something uh dish no uh, that appears to be legal. Did I yeah. miss this? Apparently you did. Me and Joe just might have said we'll never have a Oddish line on our teams ever. And just fuck that. 
detective shovel well, this always, uh, I remembered. Split Evo line means uh, gloom remains on the table for you guys to get a gloom. <laughs> oh, you mean a, a vile plume or a blossom? We, we decide who gets which one between the two of us if we end up with double glooms. Yeah. Is either of those something that you would consider bringing into the Elite Four, though? I think there's being, no way this trio goes to the Elite Four. I think it's... Being that it would be paired with Dust Axe and Beautiful Eye. Right. Well, Shuckle. Shuckle. There, do work for yeah. you guys. Yeah. yeah. Shuckle can be funny. Shuckle, Double Gloom could be a thing. Maybe Zatu's okay. But we got way better stuff, I think. Plus, we still have, like, multiple revives. Uh, okay, Which, this is um, Garrett's nickname theme, too. To I think we do have to use one of those revives for Jinx before the dawn fight. Okay. Yeah, that should be should be fine. Um That would be wrestling moves. Okay. Uh do you have a nickname theme in mind, Garrett? Kinda. Is that the theme? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> um This one just kinda came to me because of the gloom discussion. But I don't know if it would be cohesive enough. It doesn't really matter because, like we've said, odds are these aren't coming with. But I was thinking of uh, <laughs> naming it after significant mons that we had in previous Nuzlocke. Oh, runs. Jesus. That's like their that nickname or the Pokemon yeah, itself? The nickname. Okay. Because I just was reminded of Detective Shovel. And oh, yeah. Any any previous Nuzlocke, irrespective of content. Yeah, just one that one that was real, that meant a lot so to valid. you. Yeah. Okay. I gotta go check my Hall of Fame then, which is a document yeah. I have on my hard drive. <laughs> I mean, the idea was that it doesn't have to be something you have to look up to that degree. It's just one that you remember. I've done too just many. I remember me... none of the children. They're all just bodies and, in my which war is machine. Defeating the entire point of why Nuzlocke's were cons yes. made up in the first well, place. Well, defeating that enter come? particular rule. This is, don't we already have a come? No, we have a, a sputum, but I, I, I couldn't doesn't... reuse Oh, no, Garrett has a semen. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's no, I, I can totally do. Come, but also, um, the first one that popped into my head was Milhouse, which was my shiny Crobat. So he was a big deal, and he saved my fucking ass on our platinum originally. Yeah, the first one that popped into my head, I can't even remember the number, the name of. What was it? At least it, it was the X Y Blastoise who got rare candied up and Mega the whole Elite Four. Damn. <laughs> that was how the draft lock ended. It was. Oh, I'm going to invest these 11 rare candies I have in this Blastoise and then just sweep everything with Blastoise. <laughs> I'm going to look through my Elite Four, though, for other notable ones. Chaney the Simiseer, he was iconic because he was a fucking Simiseer that lasted the whole fucking run somehow. <laughs> Named after Dick fucking Chaney is a joke. Um, Bet the Mr. Steak of your history. Yeah, it really is. I'd but not Dick Chaney, I'd, I'd rather not have two Pokemon named Chaney in my history, though. <laughs> That's okay. This was just kind of a one-off thing to reminisce. Yeah. Because we established that we're probably not using this line. I, I also love that the this my thought going into this was like, I'm just going to pick something real quick so we can end the episode. And now here we are. You're fucking welcome. Nothing when you do oh, with me is oh, short. Oh, 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 no, it's got to be memes. <laughs> It's got it's gotta be memes. The uh the Nuz the the Nuzlick starter, the Lickitung from the very first series I did on the channel for Pokemon. Oh my god, Nuzlick. That's yeah. great. Memes. Alright, well that'll be it for uh this one. Until next time. <laughs>